Hi, Thrifty Tech Teacher here. My new Kindle Fires, my HD8 8 inch Kindle Fires. Uh, we're gonna do a little unboxing here. So um, they come in uh, this very simple packaging, which is great. And um, it gives you lots of details about uh, the device on the back here and how you open it up. I feel like I'm, I don't know, opening chewing gum or something. There's like a little pull tab you come across the top. And um, Originally, when I got these, they came in individual packages, all separate packages, which surprised me. So, uh, empty box here. And then what's inside is uh, the Kindle Fire uh, itself, which comes wrapped in plastic, which is fine. And then, um, yeah, you can just kind of pop it out here. What's also inside is this little piece here, this little card that tells you more about the device and, and what you can expect. Charge cord, uh, which has the micro SD, I think they call it. Just uh, charge cord, real um, universal cord. You can get these anywhere for super cheap. You can get them at the dollar store. Um, and then it has just a traditional uh, plug for uh, 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 charging charging it. And I'll end up putting a lot of those plugs in a char uh, charging strip when I get into my classroom. So I didn't buy a case for these. A lot of people are inclined to buy cases for these, and I understand why they think, oh, kids are going to be rough on the devices, which are typically who you're buying a device like this for. Um, but I had uh, the experience of using this for um, oh, about a year in my second grade classroom, and it was dropped multiple times. Uh, it's amazing how rough the kids were to these without ever seeing a sign of any wear or, or damage. Um, I'm also inclined to think if you're going to spend $40 on a device and the cases are $15, bucks, i am just in a situation where, especially because I'm buying multiples, I think instead of buying three cases, I just buy one more device. And then in the event that one of them breaks, it's like, shoot, but you have a backup. So some people buy cases. I think part of the reason uh, Amazon's so willing to back these up and, um, and replace them, uh, some of these kids... Uh, the uh, kids' version that they have is because they're really solid. They actually survive better than an iPad uh, in a drop test. They're very well made. Um, so no screen protectors, no case, just the device itself. So let me talk about a few of the things um, that you'll see on here. Very flat front, no buttons, anything like that. There's a, a camera. Oh, look, you can see me. There's a reflection of me in the in the. Okay, perfect. Well, there's a camera in the top there, kind of the uh, eyesight camera, if you wanted to record uh, you as you were watching, kind of like I'm doing on my computer now. A couple things on the end here. Uh, the power switch, which is right here. This is where the charging goes in. This teeny tiny dot right there, that's the microphone, which is good to know if you're recording audio. Uh, it does have a um, headphone jack, and then here is where your, uh, your volume is as well. Um, the only other thing I guess I would point out is that along the side here is the micro SD slot. Um, they come with 16 gigs of, of memory, which is good, sufficient. I actually found I never needed more than that in the classroom. Most people, though, if you're downloading movies or things like that, you're storing quite a bit on it, you'll want to expand it, and it's really easy to do. Uh, you kind of open this up and put in kind of like a little SD card that are very inexpensive. You can get them for 10, 15 bucks. And you can get up to, I think, uh, 256 gigs or something, way more than you would ever need in a device. Very, very easy to do, something you would not find in an iPad. So that's very, uh, very nice as well. Um, the speaker for this is on the side. It's actually just uh, a bunch of little uh, dots there. The speaker is not great, but I've not listened to a lot of music through it, or I guess if I was going to, I'd probably do it through the headphone jack. So this is the $43 uh, Kindle Fire. Uh, it's a good size. Like I said, it's the size of a um, an iPad mini. I'm really excited about using them in the classroom. Uh, and for the next video, I'll show you um, just the basics of kind of getting it set up uh, for the first time. If you have questions, uh, post them below, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll keep diving in. Thanks.